so this is our, uh, you know, the vault management project, right? Like if you want to uh, do uh, user secret management uh, for KubeDB, uh, managed databases or just general secret management, this is where, uh, you know, where we recommend. So this uh, has been, uh, you know, uh, deployed in production this year by multiple teams. Uh, so, so we are looking to, you know, kind of co complete out uh, all the features that you would expect from a production quality uh, operator support. So effectively automating all the day to operations, seeing that you were, you know, seeing more with the uh, KubeDB, kind of bringing similar type of uh, support for Vault, right? So you can update versions, scale it up, you know, you can reconfigure PLS, back up the data, all of that will be part of it. Um, and then uh, TLS management is a big one. Uh, I mean, today we can, you know, provision certificates, but making sure the certificates get auto renewed and done automatically before like, a, uh, you know, the well server TLS certificates run out, all of that will be part of this, uh, you know, approach. Uh, so the Cube Vault has a CLI, but we are looking to uh, may you know bring various improvements. So this set of improvements, kind of you know, quite a bit, few of these actually already been worked on and should be out uh, fairly soon. Uh, and then like we already have support for secrets CSI driver, but it does require like creating a bunch of different CRDs and all of that, making sure that those can be done easily for something like a KubeDB managed databases. You know those those sort of the uh, focus right like I mean the generally the thing that we are trying to achieve is that uh, make you know make the tools and UIs and CLIs everything uh, you know as intuitive as possible so that you don't have to read like a lot of documentation you know it's just a uh, I mean I mean I guess uh, you know in Kubernetes world everybody do expect to read a lot of documentation but but we're trying to make sure that you don't. Right, like, yes, I mean, obviously documentation has to be there, but, you know, I mean, ideally you should be able to use the, the product without having to read a lot of documentation. So uh, so that's kind of uh, where this is coming along. And, and frankly, the UI is also part of that, right? Like, you know, uh, because some way you need to be informed that what, what is available uh, and what is possible so that, uh, you know, you don't have to go and read up like a YAML format uh, documentation to do it. But but um, so so that's kind of the focus. I think you know it, it's in a way it it has required you know taken us so much time because we had to kind of stabilize our YAML formats before we can kind of you know building this sort of that sort of that layer two you know things on top of these products. So so but uh, you know we're looking to work on this this year. Um, so, you know, in similar vein, we are looking to probably do a Alpha 3 API. Uh, we already have a few different things that, you know, we generally see requests from the users. So it kind of in a way, you know, we want to make it kind of almost, uh, you know, uh, bring the sort of similar type of functionality that we are doing for our KubeDB APIs. Um, so it will be uh, backward compatible, right? With the CRD converter and all of that, but, but this is something, uh, you know, we have uh, kind of considering uh, and hopefully want to work on. Uh, 